Oh, welcome back to AP U.S. History. This is Chapter 13, uh, Part 4. We were talking about some of these utopian uh, communities that were founded. Um, we talked about Amana, Oneida, the Shakers. Uh, we'll take, turn our attention back to the Mormons, founded by uh, Joseph Smith. Uh, he believed that they were. Th he believed that uh, the Mormons were uh, the true believers of God, and all other churches were. Uh, in an apostate state. This shows the picture of the Amana community uh, made uh, uh, in the 20th century for refrigerators and other appliances. Um, but the uh, Mormons will practice polygamy um, and they will set up their community eventually in the Salt Lake area. Uh, one of the fastest growing churches in America today. Um, as far as the American family was concerned, uh, women um, increasingly challenged their inferior status. They wanted a better life for themselves. They didn't want to be dominated by men. Uh, women were better off in the U.S. and Europe, especially on the frontier where they were a little more scarce and they worked side by side with their husbands. Uh, by 1860, about 10% of the women were unmarried. Uh, it was somewhat of a stigma for a woman to not be married. Um, they were expected to be uh, a wife and uh, a mother to children. Uh, women began to work more and more outside the family. This shows a picture of Brigham Young and all of his wives. Uh, many uh, women do become school teachers and work in domestic services, maids and so forth. 10% uh, of the uh, white women worked for pay outside the home in 1850. 20% of white women had been employed for pay prior to marriage in 1850. So it's a, a little bit of breaking some of the stereotypes. Most women left their jobs upon marriage and became house uh, makers, homemakers. The adult of uh, domesticity, that is glorified women taking care of their husband and children. They were expected to instill values into the children this Republican motherhood. Uh, as far as families are concerned, most marriages are based on love. That is, there's an attraction uh, and people decide to get married. Uh, smallers become, uh, families become smaller because of uh, contraceptive uh, ideas which are seldom discussed publicly. Uh, children are to be raised to be independent and moral individuals. Uh, the frontier experience in America, uh, Tuckerville believed that American society promoted equality, and he stated so when he traveled uh, about the country. Uh, the American West promoted individualism, uh, equality seen as a stand for white people in the frontier, not necessarily other minority groups. Uh, Westerners were seen as crude and tough. Uh, certainly democracy flourished on the frontier. Uh, except for slaves. White to male suffrage, which got started under the Jacksonian period, is going to uh, flourish. Uh, states' rights and localism seem to be the theme in most states. Patriotic and being a American also uh, a familiar theme. We've mentioned Frederick Jackson Turner before. Uh, he believed that the frontier ashamed, uh, established American character. Uh, there was an artistic movement. Uh, there, um, Thomas Jefferson was a fine architect uh, and built his own home, Monticello. Uh, Gilbert Stewart, among some of the best painters, uh, painted George Washington. Uh, Charles William Peel painted portraits of prominent Americans. Uh, the Hudson River of School was something that probably you need to no, uh, they painted a variety of things uh, and themes. Uh, the broken stump was their, their symbol, um, tree trunk. Um, and their paintings seemed to focus on nature. Uh, man is sort of insignificant. Most of them are transcendentalist. Uh, they believe that man can communicate with God uh, through nature and so they they will have a variety of paintings that will come out of this school 
so as far as the characteristics of the school, uh, scenic uh, vistas, landscape, humans are sort of insignificant, uh, the effects of light and water and sky, uh, and again the symbol of the school was a broken tree stump. Uh, the paintings uh, here shows uh, nature and man being sort of insignificant light and uh, seems to be the f theme. I'm not an artist uh, but this is uh, a lot of these paintings were very typical. This shows some of the paintings just going through them. So they might ask a question about the Niagara School of Art simply because of uh, uh, some of the themes that they painted. Uh, they Roman and Greek architecture was uh, part of this. Uh, uh, people getting in touch with uh, uh, nature, the luminous, that is, light in their paintings. Uh, you can see some of their architecture, some of their paintings of some of the things. This is uh, Jefferson's Rotunda, uh, the University of uh, Virginia. Patriotic art uh, was some of their themes. Uh, also the frontier, the noble savage. Uh, was one of the things that they painted. Uh, Stoic Indians uh, somehow f finding the secret to nature, living in harmony with nature. Uh, demonic uh, Indians, uh, the savage, uh, the ruthlessness, the taking of scalps. Uh, a foreshadow of the future. Well, Indians are going to be sort of... Uh, uh, done away with in American or try to be done away with. In terms of literature at the time uh, we don't have a lot of American writers. Uh, Washington Irving is one of the better known during this time. Uh, first American to win an international recognition for his work. Uh, wrote about George Washington and other historical works. James Fenimore Cooper, Last of the Mohicans, Washington Irving, uh, Sleepy, Sleepy Hollow, uh, James Fenimore Cooper, not only The Last of the Mohicans, but also other works. Um, some of his uh, uh, leather stocking tales, A Spy. Um, they might ask you a question about some of the early writers of this time. The Transcendentalist uh, will emerge. Um, and they will uh, be liberal in their thinking. They will uh, believe that uh, man should be free to uh, improve himself and commune with nature, com go into nature and uh, and uh, discover uh, where his place was. Uh, they believed in reasoning. Uh, they believed that there's uh, somewhat they embraced a deism religion. Uh, the truth, tr you can't experience truth necessarily f from books. But you certainly have to experience it. Every person experience, uh, possesses an inner light that will help them illuminate truth and get in touch with the great over uh, soul. Uh, indefinite uh, benevolence of God, uh, the infinite benevolence of nature, divinity of man. So kind of man can uh, uh, solve most of his problems because God has given him the capacity to do that. Uh, therefore if man was divine he would be wicked that it should be held in slavery. Most of the transcendentalists were against slavery. Um, there, they uh, were reformers. They wanted to restore uh, man to his divine uh, state that God had endowed upon him. So they were a bit hostile to conventional wisdom and institutions. Uh, a couple of well-known transcendentalists is Emerson. Uh, he came up with this oversoul uh, philosophy. Uh, God could be found in uh, all things if we simply opened our eyes and experienced it. 
uh, advocated self-reliance, improvement, optimism. Henry David Thoreau, uh, one of his associates, a poet, nonconformist, uh, wrote uh, Walden, or Life on the, uh, in the Woods. Uh, he wrote essays on civil disobedience, was against the uh, Mexican War, and he was against slavery. Uh, some of his lighter writings encouraged Gandhi and Martin Luther King. There's so some of the two prominent transcendentalists of the time. Uh, as far as poetry is concerned, Henry, a Longfellow, uh, um, Walt Whitman, Leaves of Grass, uh, they're probably not going to ask a lot of questions about literature, but they might uh, come up with some of those. Uh, individual and dissenters, Edward Allan Poe, uh, Nathaniel Hawthorne, some of the writers of the time. Um, Hawthorne, uh, The Scarlet Letter. Uh, Melville, Moby Dick. Uh, most of the newspapers... Uh, increased literacy. Uh, it was tabloid journalism, that is sensationalism, uh, sold newspapers. Uh, Horace Greeley was an order, editor of the New York Tribune. Uh, here shows a picture of Melville. Um, and certainly that shaped American opinion. Um, and we'll stop right there.